Hey, welcome back to Northwest Survival. I'm Gary Marsh. Today's video is going to be what do I carry in my Jeep? Let's get after it. Okay, so uh, if you hear a little bit of background noise, it's probably this little guy right here. I uh, don't know if you can see him or not. This is my this is my EDC buddy. Yeah, he is my everyday carry. No, just kidding. Uh, that's August, aka Augie or Augustus, whenever I'm mad at him. Other than that, he's a good boy. Uh, so anyway, let's get back to this, uh, this business of what I carry in my bag. So I know you've seen this uh, in a past video. In fact, uh, the last video I did, uh, maybe two videos ago. Uh, this always sticks with this bag. Uh, now, I used to carry it with my work bag, but this stays in the Jeep, so I've got this one in my Jeep now. I'm in the process of building one for the uh, new car for my wife, since we had to get rid of the Mini Cooper. Uh, that little bad boy just kind of fell apart. So, uh, I'm not going to go into details of what's in this. This is basically my five C's. Uh, if I lose everything, I still have this, uh, then I'm good to go and I can do whatever I need with that. I always carry a couple of carabiners because you never know when, you, when you're going to need them. Now sometimes this bag carries uh, dog treats and stuff and usually I've, I've got a separate bag for my dog. Uh, but I was using this for a backpack for a while so there might be some treats in here too. Uh, I always keep... A little bit of dental hygiene, uh, keeping your teeth in good shape is paramount. I still have all my teeth, and I'm over 50. Uh, that's a good thing. Not many of, uh, not many guys can say that nowadays. So that's in the front bag, and I still got room to grow in this in this bag. And um, here, the, you can see there's nothing in the side bag here, and this is usually my treat bag. So there's probably a treat in here. Nope, I must have taken all the treats out. Uh, usually I keep a little bit of extra of this. This is that self-starter. Uh, it's like a big match. It'll burn that much right there. will burn for about 12 minutes. Then I have inside, I got one big bag. And it has a couple of little bags in it, right? I also have a signal mirror. And that's it for the bag, right? So I'll pull this aside. What are you into? Anyway. Uh, the reason I put two bags in a bag is I like to keep this bag available for tinder. If I'm on foot, I always want to have something to put tinder in, and this is the perfect bag for it. So, again, uh, I got a first aid kit. This stays in the, in the vehicle all the time. This is for mass trauma. I can use this one for a lot of things, and I might go into details in this into a, another video, but I'll kind of let you see just to, real quick what's all in there. Of course, you always have those. Micro shield in case I have to give kisses to somebody that's in need. <laughs> and then, uh, of course, the, the rest of the remainder stuff. We'll go into a detailed video of this. What's up, buddy? I got somebody that's digging on me. Hang on a minute. Okay, I'm back. Um, before I get into these two bags, I'm going to just show you that I always keep a, a set of binoculars in the Jeep as well. Uh, these are 10 by 25s, really good binoculars. I've used them a lot and used them for a long time. Uh, always have those available. This is my, if I have to make a getaway, this bag here is my first aid kit. I'm going to make this video a little bit faster. Anyway, so this is my first aid kit that I carry with me. Alcohol pads, band-aids, set of gloves, some tape, some Vaseline pads, gauze. Typical stuff for a basic first aid kit. Uh, this always stays in the, air, in the car and it's pretty close by in case I have to use it to cut away my seat belt. And then we have, just a minute buddy. And then we have my survival bag. Uh, this is my survival kit. It has a lot of little stuff in it. I got a whistle for signaling. There's my SOG Trident again. I always keep it with me. Um, this here is a nice little Petzl um, Takina. And this is one of my favorite 
headlamps of all time. This little headlamp is so bright and lasts forever. Uh, great, great little uh, lamp. I don't get any money from these guys, so obviously. I always have some uh, waterproof matches. They're in there and this. And then I have my compass because you never know when you might need one on the ground. I got a couple of wet ones in case I go poop. I can clean my butt. <laughs> and then I have a signal whistle. And then I have three Ranger... Um, three Ranger bands closing up this. Uh, this is some dryer lint here. So another self start or another starter for lighting fires. A set of matches, a set of cord. I have a needle in case I need to rig up a stop. This way, in case I need to rig up something or if I need to stitch up something, I got a I've got a needle with me. Another uh, rod uh, for fire starting. I have a nice little handsaw. Actually, I got two ferro rods, just in case. I might take one of those out. That may have been a mistake. And then you can see the rest here. I got a little piece of sandpaper here with a, um, with a razor blade and a needle, another needle. So this needle I can always use for fishing. And this is basically enough line for fishing line. Here in the Pacific Northwest, I could probably catch something with this. It's amazing. Um, but yeah, this is my this is my everyday kit that's in my truck or my Jeep at all times. There's quite a bit here in such a little pack. And yeah, there you have it. Okay, so there was a couple of things that I forgot to mention in the last part of this video. Uh, I also, in my first aid kit here, have my uh, scissors. So these are pretty cool uh, little scissors that um, are really, I mean, they're, they're really cool scissors and super sharp too. And then the, uh, the only other thing is a pair of tweezers. Um, in this bag here, I forgot to mention that I always carry a, um, a key for handcuffs uh, just in case. You never know when I get in trouble. No. Uh, this is just in case a bad guy gets me or whatever. Uh, I don't condone using this to try to get away from cops or anything. If you're doing that, um, you know, that's, I hope they shoot your ass. So with that, um, as long as you're a bad guy. <laughs> but I don't think any good guys are going to be getting um, hooked up by any cops anytime soon. So with that, that is my bag and survival gear and safety gear that I use in my Jeep. So uh, I hope you got a lot out of this in today's video. Uh, if you learned something, if there's some things that you put in your car that maybe uh, you can help me out with in my car, that'd be great. Leave comments below and I'll see you in the next video.